Hello my Sagittarian crew, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and I am here to bring you your weekly love read. In this reading today we're going to connect to the energy of the person that you are thinking of dealing with and connecting to in love in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Sagittarius this is a general reading so as always just take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't. Should you enjoy any part of this reading, should you feel that you are connecting to today's messages, be sure to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. I'm going to dive on in now and begin shuffling for you and then we will get stuck into this Sagittarius, we'll get stuck into your messages. Okay, two more shuffles. Two more shuffles. Okay. Oh, maybe it's three. <laughs> maybe it's three. I tricked you. See, I tricked you. Were you, were you? <laughs> okay. So first card coming through is the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Someone's feeling sad. Um, someone's feeling sad. Okay. We have the Daughter of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might be connecting to an Earth sign here. We have the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Sun card. So for some of you Sagis out there, you could be connecting to a Leo or an Aries, but I, I get strong Leo, Leo vibes with this Sun card. Okay, and then we've got the Ace of Pentacles underneath that. I feel this person that's coming in, uh, Sagittarius, is um, going to shower you with a lot of attention this week. You can expect to receive a lot of attention from this person. This, pe this person sees you as someone who ultimately makes them very, very happy. Okay. Mm. You make this person very, very happy. And I feel like they're thinking about offering you some something solid here. I feel like this person is is thinking about offering you something um, solid. There's a golden opportunity coming in with this person or this individual. And I feel with the Ten of Pentacles here, it could ultimately lead to something long term. OK, it could lead to something stable and solid. Could lead to a commitment, could lead to marriage, could lead to... Um, starting a family here we do have the nine of pentacles underneath that i feel like this person is well established uh i do see a confidence about this person or they're viewing you as someone who is very confident very stable and very well established yeah okay Hmm. But, um, you know, this five of pentacles, it could be someone that you have given the cold shoulder to. I feel like maybe this person has been rejected by you or maybe you've been rejected by this person. But now they're coming in with the ten of pentacles. So maybe the timing wasn't right with this person. Or maybe you feel, Sagittarius, that they... Maybe you don't have the same feelings for this person. I don't know why I get that. Why do I not get that you have, feel the same for this person? Because they're coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe with the Nine of Pentacles here, they're viewing you as someone or you're, you've got like this independent vibe coming through. And as long as this person can give you space, then you're happy with that. Like you like your independence. 
You don't like being too smothered or too controlled. Um, you might even find this person very needy with the nine of with the five of pentacles. There's definitely this undertone of something missing. Okay, there's definitely this undertone of something missing for you with this person. But they're viewing you as someone who ultimately makes them happy. Um, you make this person feel seen. But maybe they don't do it for you here. I, I definitely feel with the Daughter of Pentacles that you, you're not confident you're not confident or you're not certain about how you feel because this is the daughter of pentacles. This is like the page of pentacles, right? And the page is a little unsure, is a little un insecure, is, is doubtful. Um, and you're not confident. You're not confident about this person or you're not confident about a future together with this person. Maybe because there was a split in the past. You know, we see the Seven of Wands here. And it's like there's three cards, three cards, three ones on this side, three ones on that side. And there's definitely a divide. So you're not confident because there has been some kind of a separation or because you have been rejected in the past by this person. But I still feel like this person is coming in fighting for this connection. They're still attracted to you. We see this wand here. It's lit. So this person definitely still carries a torch or a flame for you. But you're not confident about maybe the longevity of this connection. Maybe you're just happy to kind of just um, see where this goes for now. Because maybe with the Nine of Pentacles, as we saw earlier, you're valuing your independence. It's like, I'm hearing Sagittarius say, this person can come in and shower, shower me with all the attention they like. But at the end of the day, you know nothing is going to come of this. Does that make sense? I don't know, because the Five of Pentacles is here. It's just, it's kind of like influencing this reading. I'm seeing the sun card here and I love the energy that's coming from the sun card, but I can't help the fact that the five of pentacles was the first card that came out here today. So let's see what the romance or oracle cards have to say. Yeah, trust. You don't trust this person. You don't trust the situation. If they left you once before, they can do it again. Hmm. That's what it is. That's what I feel it is. So I'm not budging on that one. Let's see what the uh, Moonology cards have to say, Sagittarius. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. I do feel like this poss person, poss possum, <laughs> I do feel like this person would like a new beginning here with you. But with the Five of Pentacles here, I'm not feeling confident about it. Because they might come in hot and heavy with the sun card. They might be coming in, you know, making you feel amazing right now. But how long are they willing to shine the light on you? And Vibe of Pentacles is saying not very long. Yeah. Yeah. Not very long. So I do see that this person wants a new beginning with you or um, they want to start something up again here with you. But again, I don't feel like it will last very long. I feel like they're kind of just going with their desire uh, here with the Seven of Wands. They're kind of just being led by some kind of a desire but I feel like that the desire or the spark won't last too long. 
So there we have it, Sagittarius. Uh, that's your reading here today. I do hope that was insightful and helpful in some way. Don't forget to give us a like if it resonated with you today. And until next time, guys, take care.